Jeep's garage. While well, we'll continue on with our build here, we'll put our seal in our timing chain cover, we'll saw the timing chain cover, and then what we're going to do is I'm going to show you something really neat. You know how I love to share neat stuff with you. Uh, someone asked why I didn't put a lock washer on the bolt that was on the oil pump. And I have something really cool to show you, and I have a little treat that maybe one of you can win. So let's get started. Putting in your uh, timing cover seal, uh, it goes in this way. The open part goes towards the back. Now what you could do is, you could put this on a flat surface and support the back, put a 2x4 on there, and bang on it. Go ahead, bang on it. But if you don't want to do that and destroy it, or if you have a press like I have here, it makes it real easy to do. I just like to put a piece of cardboard over there so I don't damage the seal or anything else. And pack your press up. Take off the and gently take it out. And then we have our seal installed nice and flush. Now we can put the timing cover on. Putting the gasket on, no rocket surgery here. This is why I like the caulk gun with the um, the right stuff because you can slowly work around here. Squeeze out just a little bit of gasket material. Makes it real easy to control. Now these pins, these alignment pins here, one here and one here, are similar to the um, same thing with the oil pan. I'm sorry, with the oil pump. They can get knocked around. So when you put your cover on and you align to these pins, you want to make sure that you put the pin on and that it aligns straight and you don't have to force it on. And it's, that, that goes on nice, that's nice and easy. Now the other thing you can do is check around here, you can put the damper on, put your, your damper, or vibration damper, whatever you have here, and just check around there to make sure it's straight before you put that on, which I did. So you want to check that around, make sure that the timing chain cover is centered on the crankshaft. Now I can put my bolts in. These just go six to eight foot pounds. It's really easy to over torque these, so you gotta be careful. You don't want to squish the gasket out, which you really don't want to do. Okay. Okay, here is my washer from my oil pump bolt. And what I have in there is a Nordlock washer. And the cool thing about this is uh, these washers will guarantee that this bolt will never come out. Uh, the folks from Nordlock were real nice to send me a bunch of samples and I, and I have this uh, lock washer here. And what this thing does is really cool. If you see on both sides, there's kind of like serrations on both sides and it's a two-piece washer. Okay? And I have a big one here that, that they gave me to make it easier to show. And what this does is, you got the serrations on either side. so. It, this 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 side digs into the, to the head, and this side will dig into the substrate. So each one is digging in. And on the inside, you can see there are these uh, uh, steps in each one, and they're they are in the opposite direction of this. So what happens is you 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 come and you tighten on a bolt down on this washer, and as you tighten in, this digs the the bolt head will dig into this side, and this side will dig into the substrate. So the teeth are pointing that way there the teeth are pointing that way. So what happens is on the inside is as the bolt loosens, if it starts to loosen, since these things are like little ramps on the inside, this starts to rotate and when this rotate this washer starts to come apart. So it's the awesome thing is as the bolt loosens the washer tightens it back up. You might be able to see that if I, if I get it just right you might be able to see as I turn this it kind of opens up which is really tough to see. But that's what it does. And this thing, I'll tell you, is it's unbelievable. Once you put one of these things in here, this thing is in there forever. Uh, here's an example. Uh, the, the, the folks from Nordlock sent me a couple of these uh, bottle openers. And they have the serration on one side and the, other, the pattern on the other side. And it's just a wing nut here. A wing nut with the Nordlock, uh, Nordlock washer in there. See that washer in there? Now, I'll show you. This is how strong this is. I'm going to take this and I'm going to turn this just by hand. 
And I'm just going to give this a little, watch, watch, I'll, just, I'll barely tighten my finger. Just gave it a little bit of tight, right? Hardly even tighten that thing. Now I'm going to try and unloosen this thing. Or I'm trying to loosen it, not unloosen it, I'm going to loosen it. And as those bite, bite in, that washer's expanding. <laughs> it's incredible how strong, <clears throat> how hard it is to break that. And all I did was take that and twist that and give it a little bit like that. I mean, it's just, I could do it with one finger and then try and open it. And it's just like unbelievable how strong these washers are. If you're looking for their website, here's their website. They have all different sizes, all different kinds of materials, and these things are really awesome. So if you have a bolt that you don't want to come out after you put it in, put a Nordlock washer in there, and that thing is there forever. All right, so this is what we're going to do. Uh, Nordlock was nice enough to send me two of these bottle openers, and what I figured I'd do is I'd give them away to you guys. You guys watch the videos, and I figured I'd give them a chance to get some stuff. So this is what we'll do. Um, today is Tuesday, May 24th, uh, so we'll give it a week. So click like on the video, and then leave a comment. I don't know, something like bottle opener, or I want a bottle opener, or, or those things are cool. I don't know, whatever. Just leave a comment so I know you'd like to win the bottle opener, and I'll give it a week. So let's say, I don't know, June 1st or so. June 1st, I'll pick a winner, and I'll announce it in some video, and then I'll mail them to you so two people can get a bottle opener for the summer. It's coming up. These things are really cool. Uh, thanks to Nordlock for sending me these samples and this awesome stuff. And thanks for stopping by Peace Garage.